guys and welcome back to my channel um, this is not the kind of re video I wanted to film today but you know things happen and um, yeah at the moment I'm just feeling very stressed and overwhelmed and um, and yeah I just want to say that my baby forces me to to wake up early in the morning and um, it's kind of changed my life in a good and in a bad way I'm just um, not an early bird and um, this is such a challenge for me before I start with the video if you are new here my name is Athena and I make videos related to um, motherhood and um, I also create fashion videos especially for curvy girls I post the mother related videos on Monday and the fashion videos on Friday so if you are interested in this kind of content then stick with me and, um, and yeah subscribe to my channel like this video and all that jazz so yeah as I was saying I am not an early bird I never was I don't like waking up in the morning I'm not the nicest person in the morning I'm a bit grumpy at this and that but um but yeah and in the past I mean I would just sleep in in it like before I have iris um, I would just sleep in I wouldn't even put alarm I would just wake up any on my on my off day so I would just wake up any any time I wake up isn't it but with Iris now now she's 10 months um, so it's gonna be a little bit of an update as well so she's 10 months and um, when it comes to her sleep she will sleep at about 7.38 and then um, she might wake up during the night I basically put her in her court but then at some point in the night she will wake up and jump in her bed and then she might want milk as well at around 3 or she might just fall asleep and then she will wake up again at about 6 or 6 30 and sometimes um, yeah she will have her milk and sometimes she won't go back to sleep which this is such a challenge for me because um, I don't sleep early I should have but I've got stuff to do I've got to take care of the house I'm trying to build up my small business now I've got YouTube I'm just trying to achieve something I'm trying to get something so I cannot be sleeping for too long I can't go and sleep early so I can you know be able to wake up early I just I, it's just not me because if I don't out every day I plan my day and I put down you know I've got my to-do list and have to go through it I have to finish it so if I don't finish a few things then I can't relax I have to finish the things I have to do and on the day and at this moment yeah I, I'm gonna say I'm quite overwhelmed I know I um, should be relaxing a little bit but I'm trying to build something and yeah it's not easy and I acknowledge that and I don't want to complain and I'm not complaining but I'm just saying that it's difficult it's difficult it's quite overwhelming and um, and yeah what I wanted to say is that in a way waking up early you know having her to wake me up early it's a good thing because after that I will just start with my day I will start doing the things I have to do I will clean the house I will you know go through my to-do list I will sew I'm gonna do the film the videos and by afternoon I'm fin I'm finished with you know most most of the things that I wanted to do because after when I start 
when I have to cook and when I have to clean then forget about it all my creative work related stuff you know will stop so um, I'm trying to get as many things as possible you know during that time and before I start cooking and cleaning the house and all that and um, yeah it's 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 a good thing that you know I managed to wake up early even though it's a struggle um, one thing that you have to do to get yourself to wake up early you just to be honest you need to block out the thoughts of oh I'm tired oh my god why is she waking me up again why you know all these negative thoughts like why why I don't want to wake up this and that let me try to get her back to sleep and you're getting frustrated you have to forget about all those you know thoughts you have to you know um need to send those thoughts away and you have to just do things so one thing it helps me is that i don't give you know i don't give myself much time to think i will just get up straight away go wash my face brush my teeth get ready uh, wear my clothes make my bed and all that so that, that these are the things i um I'm, I'm gonna do first thing in the morning and then after that my body naturally will wake up as well and i will forget about being tired and i will just get on with my day and i will do the things i have to do it's quite amazing how your body you think that oh my god i'm tired let me i want to sleep more but yet again you can still you know just do many many things even if you think that um you haven't got much sleep and all and all that so i'm just spinning here a little bit so um so yeah in the past um today i've i've done a night shift last night so i came in in, in the morning i came at home at about 6 30 and she was awake so and she would not um she would not sleep and i know that i said that you should block those you know thoughts the, the negative thoughts out but sometimes it's difficult sometimes i'm just i'm just honestly i'm tired like sometimes you think you're tired but at times i'm genuinely tired like today and she would not sleep so i was getting so frustrated and upset you know i was and i was feeling so guilty as well for feeling this way and and trying to get her to sleep again but she was not sleeping so at the end i just had to decide i just had to I just had to uh, tell myself you know this is not happening I just had to let that go you know trying to get her to sleep and I, I said okay let's go and get breakfast you know and um, get on with my day which that that's what I did and um, and yeah and, and then she slept at about 10 o'clock in the morning and I couldn't go back to sleep because I was also doing stuff, I was preparing an order, an order and all that. So, um, yes, yeah, sleep sometimes is not an option, but I know you, we need sleep. We might need sleep, um, we might need less sleep than what we think, but sometimes we might need more, you know, to replenish all the energy, all the, you know, that you consume every day. But yeah, it's just amazing how uh, now I feel after becoming a mom, I feel more alert, like I'm more ready to wake up. Like in the night, she will wake up, jump in her bed. And um, it's not the most comfortable thing for her to be sleeping in her bed. But yes, still, you know, I just have to get, I, I'm just, I've trained myself to get used to that and um i don't have the most comfortable 
sleep i don't have the most quality sleep you know that's that's the problem but what can you do if you're a mom you know that thought is in your head and you are more prepared and you're more alert to do things and to do the things that you have to do as a mom you gotta do what you gotta do isn't it and and yeah it's just yet again it's amazing how i've changed because in the past i used to work for pred was the was the most i wouldn't say terrible job but we i had to wake up at three o'clock and that was ah, it was the most difficult thing I, there were times i would wake up and cry because i didn't want to go to work sometimes it was so depressing to me like the thought that i have to wake up at three o'clock in the morning is uh it was you know i'm doing night shifts and i don't mind it but having to just wake up that early it will it, it was killing me even the thought it was killing me and it was such a tiring job so after i would come home i would sleep most of the day like uh, i would sleep for hours and hours you know the whole day but no i'm not like that i don't i don't feel like i need much sleep i don't take i don't even take naps i barely take naps you know i don't sleep much anymore you know i guess that that be, comes with age or after becoming a mom and all that also when i used to do night shifts i would come home and um and i would sleep let's say from 7 30 until 1 in the afternoon or sometimes even 3 you know just to replenish that sleep and bear in mind that i still get some sleep at work as well during my break so it's not that bad but yes yeah i will still sleep hours and hours it's just yeah she changed my life for the better there is there are challenges but we are getting there as i said now she's 10 months and she's school her two front teeth the bottom ones and the another set is coming uh, up and another set is coming down um on the lower teeth on the lower jaw so um so yeah let me uh, i put some notes down let me see if that's all i wanted to say today so yeah that's all i wanted to say for today i was thinking to do what my baby eats in a day but but then i just wanted to just express how i'm feeling because to be honest recently i'm feeling quite overwhelmed and sometimes everything just annoys me even like you know things small things you know that i can't do and i will get frustrated and upset you know and sometimes i will get i will get tearful and i will get anxious and and one thing i wanted to say to people you know that want to support moms like you need to ask moms if they need help and you need to be willing to come and help like maybe with housework or even that like um you know looking after the kid the, her baby like for two three hours for her to get some sleep you know that's a big help for moms out there especially moms that don't have much help around i've got i only got my husband and, my, and when i'm home he's working when i'm working he's home with her so we you know we're just working non-stop isn't it we always you know do, we always have to do this thing you know and it's not easy on us sometimes we need support and moms need support and we don't feel good asking i hate i don't i don't like to ask but sometimes we have to you know so if you feel that you need help you really need to ask but also if you're on the other side people friends whoever that's the way to help a mom so be honest i'm a bit disappointed by i don't know my friends or whatever i don't feel like i have much friends here um maybe it's because i don't have my family i mean you know my mom my dad my sisters my brothers if they were here they would be helping out 
you know but here i don't have someone to tell you know please um come for two hours please look after her for two hours or please help me with this or that even to cook a meal for the mom you know it's a big help you know like having to cook having to take of the, of the baby this that it's a lot of things so we moms we need support so these are the things you can do for a mom you know we don't need gifts we don't need all that we just need someone sometimes to be there to be there like physically you know anyway i've been mumbling a lot um i'm gonna leave this video here um and i hope that the things i've discussed about helped you a little bit give you a bit of you know hope motivation and uh, encouragement we all you know we all get through things but you know we we can get through it you know we can get through it we can and we'll be fine okay we'll be fine so yeah I'll, I'll see you in the next one don't forget to like this don't forget to like this video subscribe leave your comments down below what are the, the biggest challenges that you have as a mom and what are the and what can people do to help you you know give give me your own you know perspective i would like to hear from you and from other moms and um yeah i'll see you i'll see you in the next one bye for now all night long yeah we dance with our raisin tongues and all day long